you have this great new movie. Congratulations. And Regina Germano was just talking to them. The chemistry between them, it's awesome, man. So talk to me about telling this whole story. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I, um, Regina and Jermaine are just fun to watch. I, um, you know, it, after I wrote the script, it really started with casting. Um, Jermaine read the script. I got a, a call that he wanted to talk. He was in Australia. We had a phone conversation. It was about an hour long. About 20 minutes of that was actual uh, conversation. The rest of it was awkward pauses. <laughs> and I knew from that conversation that it was perfect, that he was perfect and it was going to be fun. Because uh, um, the film has a lot of awkward humor. Uh, and it, um, it, it, and I, I, I knew talking to Jermaine that it was just, that he would be great for the part. And... He seemed interested in it. He was very, he's very into comics and graphic novels, and he was right away talking about drawing and just. I knew that um, we had something special when he signed on, and and then I'd always thought uh, Regina would be fun to work with, and I liked her for that part. But uh, I wanted to see who the uh, I I, w I was going to get for Will. Uh, so as soon as. I cast Jermaine, Regina was the second call, just because um, I knew, I had, a, I had a strong sense that they would have nice chemistry together. It is funny because, and I was telling them this, comedy's so tough. It can go in so many different directions. It can become corny, it can not be funny. There's a great balance here, it's funny. Talk to me about when you're, when you're making comedy, especially the type of quirky and awkward comedy that Jermaine and Regina bring to the table. As a director, what's that like? Well, I guess, I. I trust I, I trust them. They're they're just I wanted to cast uh, comedians and all the parts or people that were known to be funny, uh, and then trust and uh, and tell them that it's fine to not always be funny. I mean, it's in the script that there are moments that just um, there there aren't there are no jokes and that's okay to um, just sort of respond truthfully. Uh, well, as far as the, com the balance between comedy and drama, uh, um, I wanted, I, I was seeking comedic actors, uh, but then when we, we were talking, um, there was this, this understanding that um, you didn't have to push anything. If a moment feels, if it, I wanted them to be sort of led by their instincts. So if a moment felt, if whatever they're feeling, I, won't, it, it, I wanted that to project on screen. Uh, and that was sort of uh, guiding them. So their instincts, I think, Jermaine especially, is towards comedy. Um, and he makes, I think he makes, he can, so everything feels a little funny. Like even when he's alone in his apartment, um, <laughs> And he's feeling down. It's, it's more amusing to me than uh, you know, uh, ten other actors I could think of to see Jermaine do it. Um, it's just something in his DNA that uh, is uh, funny. Were you a fan of Concords before this? Oh yeah, I was a fan of everything. I love um, uh, all of his work, uh, Eagle versus Shark, and. Um, Dinner for Schmucks. I love him in that movie. <laughs> That's great. Yeah.